Hello everyone and welcome to my channel if you are new here. Today we bring you Ghanaians who have made significant contributions in the field of science, technology, engineering and mathematics. If you are new to the channel, click on the subscribe button so you don't miss any of our forthcoming videos. Over the past three decades, Victor B. Lawrence has left a major mark on the global telecommunications industry. Through his pioneering effort, he has facilitated various advancements in broadband, high-definition television technologies, and wireless data transfer. Born on May 10, 1945 in Accra, Ghana, Lawrence attended Achimota School. He pursued his higher education at the University of London and earned a bachelor's degree in electrical engineering in 1968, followed by a master's degree in 1969 and a PhD in 1972 in the same field. Throughout a significant portion of his professional career, Lawrence was affiliated with Bell Laboratories where he applied his skills to enhance data transmission over telephone lines. He created methods to improve how signals travel through phone lines which were very important for developing devices like modems, MiFi's and other technologies that allow us to use the internet through telephone lines. As the lead engineer of AT&T's 4 duplex modem, he pioneered advancements that boosted modem speeds from 2.4 kilobytes per second to 56 kilobytes per second, opening new possibilities for the internet beyond simple test-based functions. Additionally, he innovated methods of packing more information into signals, paving the way for the introduction of digital video and radio. In sum, Lawrence is the architect of transforming the internet into a global industry with far-reaching applications beyond its initial purpose. Lawrence became the director of the Center for Intelligence Network Systems and was appointed as the Charles Bachelor Chair Professor of Engineering and Associate Dean at the Stevens Institute of Technology in 2005. He has co-authored numerous books including Introduction to Digital Filters, Tutorials of Modern Communications, Intelligent Broadband Multimedia Networks, The Art of Scientific Innovation, and others. Lawrence holds more than 20 US and international patents and has more than 45 papers in reference journals and conference proceedings covering the topics of digital signal processing and data communications. Lawrence led a team that created a special technology that makes high-quality television pictures called HDTV. The technology has been used by many different companies to create HD TV sets including Sony, Panasonic and Samsung. The same technology is also used in smartphones for video streaming, messaging and communications. His work has had great impact on voice, data, radio and video communications. In 1993, Lawrence started a project to connect the United States and Africa using fiber optic cables. He led a team that created the engineering requirements for a cable called African One, which used advanced technology to send data over long distances stretching 17,000 kilometers underwater. The project was successful and created a network of fiber optic cables around Africa. Lawrence has invented so many groundbreaking technologies in the field of telecommunications, which time will not permit us to cover in this video. He holds numerous patents and publications in the telecommunications field. Lawrence was elected as a fellow of the National Academy of Engineering, the Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineers and Bell Laboratories. He has also received numerous awards including 2004 IEEE Award in International Communications, Black Engineer for Outstanding Technical Contributions in 1995, Emmy Award for the HDTV Grand Alliance Standard in 1997, and many more. Patrick Jima Ewa Jr. is a remarkable individual who left behind a successful career at Microsoft to pursue a noble goal in Ghana by educating and inspiring the next generation of African leaders. Patrick Ewa Jr. is a Ghanaian engineer, educator, and entrepreneur. He is also the founder and president of Ashesi University, a private, non-profit institution in Ghana. Born in 1965, Iwa grew up in Accra and attended Achimota School. In 1985, he relocated to the United States and enrolled in Swarthmore College on a full scholarship. He graduated in 1989 with bachelor's degree in engineering and economics and joined Microsoft Corporation where he worked as a software engineer and program manager for eight years. In 1997, Iwa left Microsoft with the goal of returning to Ghana to educate the next generation of African leaders. 
He said, and I quote, people in positions were neither fixing the problem nor creating solutions. If young Africans are to take charge of creating a thriving Africa rather than perpetuating corruption and inefficiency, they will have to develop new mindsets and new capabilities. He enrolled at Haas School of Business at the University of California, Berkeley, focusing his work on preparing a business plan for the creation of a new kind of university in Ghana, which will later be called Ashese, meaning beginning in the Akan language. In 1998, Patrick Ewua, a fellow graduate student from Berkeley, conducted a feasibility study in Ghana for the university. The following year, Ewua graduated with his MBA and returned to Ghana with his family, founding the Ashese University Foundation. The mission was to educate a new generation of ethical and innovative leaders in Africa, equipping them with the ability to think critically, care for others, and possess the bravery needed to transform the continent. Ashese has gained recognition as one of the leading higher institutions in Africa and has garnered numerous awards in recent years. It was acknowledged as one of the most highly regarded institutions in Ghana in 2012. Patrick Ewa has been the recipient of numerous prestigious awards. He was bestowed with the Order of the Volta by former President J.A. E. Kufo, the Ellis and Walter A. Haas International Award, an Elon Medal for Entrepreneurial Leadership, the McNulty Prize, and the MacArthur Fellowship. In addition, Fortune magazine recognized him as one of the 50 most remarkable leaders across the world. Observing individuals of African descent returning to their ancestral homeland to lend a hand in improving the lives of their fellow Africans is truly inspiring. It is a powerful symbol of resilience and determination of the African people to build a better future for themselves and their communities. Dr. Felis Konote Aulu is one of Ghana's leading scientists and one of the world's leading experts in sickle cell anemia. He is one of the world's foremost experts on the sickle cell disease. Felis Konote Aulu was born in Udumasukrobo, Gold Coast, now Ghana. He attended Basel Presbyterian Mission School and at Achimota School took the Cambridge School Certificate Grade 1 and the London Matriculation First Division afterward going to the University College of the Gold Coast in 1951. He moved to London where he read medicine at the University College of London and Westminster Hospital School of Medicine. He graduated with a Bachelor of Medicine, Bachelor of Surgery, and a membership of the Royal College of Surgeons in 1959. He joined the Ghana Civil Service as a medical officer with subsequent postings at the University of Ghana Medical School and the Ministry of Health at Kolebutichin Hospital, where he directed the largest sickle cell disease clinic in the world. Kunete Aulu researched clinical hemoglobinopathy. He was a physician specialist at Kolebu and Ridge Hospital, Accra, and director of the former Ghana Institute of Clinical Genetics. To present the African viewpoint in an international symposium, he titled his paper The Human Genome Diversity Project, Cogitations of an African Native, where he traced the sickle cell gene in his ancestry, aided by the fact that the hereditary rheumatic syndrome was known to African ethnic groups for centuries before it was first described in the U.S. in 1910. Dr. Konote Aulu is the first person known to have traced hereditary diseases in his forebears generation by generation with all names right back to 1670 AD. Between 1965 and 2005, he published more than 200 articles, letters, editorials, book reviews and comments. He has been around sub-Saharan African countries studying AIDS and has published books on it. Professor Konote Aulu has recently developed a method for writing African tonal languages. His book titled Mother Tongue aims to educate Africans to read their own languages fluently and effortlessly. Professor Konete Aulu has received tons of awards, including Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Foundation Award for Outstanding Research in Sickle Cell Anemia, the Guinness Award for Scientific Achievement in the Commonwealth, and the Gold Medal of Ghana Academy of Arts and Sciences for Outstanding Contribution to the Knowledge in Medical Sciences by a Ghanaian. This brings us to the end of today's video. Let us know in the comment section if there are any other Ghanaians we might have missed. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.